Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how are we going to play audio files in Flutter, particularly if you want to play music. <coughs> okay, so uh, there are three ways on how are we going to play or the source of our uh, audio files. Now, it could be on assets, local storage, or in our disk, or from the internet. Okay, so. Uh, the emulator that I'm using now is actually the desktop emulator. It is because uh, the second one, the local storage, we could not use uh, the web browser for the local storage because uh, the file system for the local storage is different from our uh, desktop emulator. And by the way, you could the desktop emulator or uh, the audio or anyway the Android phone okay the Android emulator by the way it could actually play also the local storage okay so when you say local storage these are the audio files located into your for example if you're using Android into your phone in my case I'm going to show you and how we are going to play music or audio from my disk in my Windows okay so that is why I am using here again uh, the Windows emulator okay so before we go further before I get to go each of these so what is the package that we are going to use okay so we have audio players 5.2.1 okay so just go to pub.dev Okay, if you want to uh, read some more uh, details about this package, okay, so you could have here everything uh, about this package on how are you going to, or the complete guide on how are you going to play audio players in uh, Flutter, okay. So, since we're going to use a package, so therefore we are going to uh, manipulate our pubspec.yml so I have here now my audio players okay 5.2.1 and I have also added file picker it is because we are going to select files from our uh, disk okay from our local storage so therefore we are going to use a file picker or the file open dialog box okay so after this one so you're going to issue the command uh, pub.dev on a pub flutter pub get okay to refresh uh, our dependencies okay so this for our uh, pub spec that yaml okay so as you could see here I have lost connection to my device so later I'm just going to uh, reload that okay so next is I have created here I have already copied uh, audio files and I have added them to my assets build okay so I have here my assets then I have here audio okay, I created here a folder then I have actually I have only two I have tested these two files okay bitter days at mp3 and test that mp3 mp3 okay so later on I'm going to have also from the internet and from my uh, disk okay so I have here my sample uh, image enough sample oh UI I mean for my uh, emulators okay so better days meaning I am going to play the better days in my assets test is I'm going to play the test file okay then select audio file is I'm going to select an audio from uh, my desktop <coughs> and the internet music and by the way when I'm going to have the audio file so I have already downloaded here okay it's located on my drive C then we have I guess music mp3 I have here in my mp3 then I have downloaded two sample uh, songs okay then for the internet 
Okay? The internet music So meaning we are going to stream here A music okay, From a web server So I'm just going to simulate that With A music or an audio file Uploaded into my local host Okay So I'm using here Sump for my web server Then particularly In the music folder Or page I have here Actually same files okay, I have created same Files, savage, and the nerve. What's this? The nerve. The never written role. Okay. Uh, you are going to learn later on what these musics are all about. Okay. Then a stop is if ever the music is playing, then I'm going to click on stop, then it is going to stop. Okay. <coughs> and since I have lost my connection to my device, so I'm just going to close first this one here. Then while I'm discussing, I'm going to uh, reopen my Windows. Take that. I'm going to use Windows uh, Desktop Emulator. Okay, so I'm here. Oh no, it's one. I'm going to select one. Okay, so it is now opening, so we're going to go now to our code. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we are going to, since we have added the audio players and the file picker into our pubspec.yml, so therefore we are now going to import them in our uh, code. Okay, so I, as you can see in line number four, I have imported here the audio players that dart. Then in number line five for the file picker. Take note, file picker is going to be used when we are going to uh, open an audio file from our local storage. Okay, <coughs> so after we have opened them or imported them, I mean, so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to create. Okay, so here. We are going to create. Oops. Okay. So we're done. Okay. Okay. So here, I'm just going to remove. So here. Okay. I'm going to initialize here my audio player. Player. Since we are going to access. Okay. The audio, same audio player from different locations. So therefore, we are going to initialize our audio player uh, in this, let us say, as public or can be seen. It is accessible to all uh, methods within this class. So I'm going to have audio players. Then I'm just going to call it player is equal to audio player okay so, so what i'm doing here is actually i am initializing now or declaring an object so that same object would be used then on playing uh audio files no matter where would be the source okay so first on is on the first button is we have here for the better days so take note we have here in our audio audio uh, folder under assets is we have better days. Okay, so on pressed, <coughs> so we are going to create. I'm just going to create here a variable. I'm going to call it asset source. Okay, because it would be coming from the assets. Okay, is equal to. Uh, Asset source Then with our Location Okay, our location here is we have Audio Slash Better days That mp3 Okay So I have now created here an asset source Why asset source? It is because This audio file is coming from the assets okay then um, player 
that play dan aset source okay so this one here now is going to be fed okay to be passed into the play method so that it would then know that this one here is coming from the assets okay so play uh, by the way play is a future okay it returns a future so therefore we're going to issue the command await and if ever we have an await so always this function or this method must be asynchronous okay so this is our better days so save let us try then reload click better days Okay, so that is better days. Oh, the problem is I, is I cannot stop it now, so I'm just going to have... Okay. Uh, so this is how are we going to stop? Okay. So just issue the method stop. So I'm going to play. So we have it there. Play. Then stop. Okay. I hope you heard the music. I'm not sure if you are hearing that one, but then uh, that plays our better days music audio. Okay. So next I'm going to play also. I'm just going to copy then for the test but instead of trying to have the better days I'm going to have the test okay save reload test okay then we have the better days, the test, and stop. Okay, so that's how are we going to play an audio file from the assets. Okay, so next is we are going to have a later on. I'm just going to have this on later on because it, I think uh, this was the cause of the disconnection of my emulators. I'm going to go first with the internet. Okay. So again, I just simulated my internet okay, with the local host. Okay. So let us say if ever that I'm going to play savage.mp3. So from our browser, localhost slash mp3 slash savish.mp3 savish wait localhost slash mp3 was it mp3? no, it's music it's not mp3, it's music ok uh, so, I have simulated my uh, internet with my localhost server particularly it is actually being run by uh, Apache okay, by my Apache server so this is the music that we are going to play in our flutter so here I'm going to have from the local storage and from my internet okay so first is I'm going to issue here a create here a variable named URL so I'm just going to have HTTP 
localhost slash music slash service dot mp3 okay then afterwards I'm then going to feed okay dot url dot play then the url okay but actually it gives an error it is because string can't be assigned to a parameter source okay so i must specify here just like in my example here it is an asset source but in this case it would be coming from the internet so therefore it would be url source okay then the url okay so let's try save oh so i'm just going to pause my 